Hey guys, and welcome back to part four of Let's Play Oddworld: Abe's Exodus. I'm Wolf Dogs Five Nine Three, and when we last left off, we uh, we explored the first bit of the outside world, and we learned about the ancient tribes, the Mudanchi, the Mudanchi, sorry, and the Mudomo tribe, I believe. It's, I think it's called still. Um, yeah, so we we got there. We got to the first area. How do we secret here? Got it all completed. So let's just continue on, shall we? I believe this isn't this this isn't like the first game where you, the first game you had a choice of which one to do first. This game, I believe, you're stuck doing scrabs, then power mites. You have no choice. It's just the way it goes. But we can just keep going anyway. Might as well read all these that I go past. That's just telling you how to release the spirits. We already we learned that in the last one. Go first review of the scrubs in this game. For shred power, press one, then shred attack, hold the attack action key. Right. So yeah, um, unlike the first game, you can actually control scrubs and power mites in this game. If you chant near them, they will just stand still and start screaming. So you don't need to worry about them leaving the screen or nothing. And then, as seen, if you press one, you'll get these little red sparks. And when you hit control, he does it to power attack. You have got your basic attacks as well, but this is the most this is what you'll use most of the time. And you can do that basically, but um these will come in handy later on whenever you, you need to clear out fleeches and stuff. But you have to be careful though, it can be tricky at times. Because fleeches are known to be like if you do it wrong and they hit you, then you've lost your way of getting rid of the fleeches and now uh, it just makes the level a lot more difficult and sometimes impossible to complete. It's a quick chase, um, chase theme in this first one. Well, it's not really a chase level. It's just more of just letting you get used to the different mechanics of invisibility and scrubs, basically. It says, again, more stuff about the invisibility. If I go in here, I believe. Yes, there's, an, there's one of the little security orbs. No, no. And there we go. See, that's an, that's an example. They do give you time to make one or two mistakes. After that, that you have like that's you. Any more mistakes in your dead, basically. Let's go up here first of all. You don't want to wake him up, so. Um, oh no, wrong button. So yeah, and you can ignore him for now. Just come through to here. I think this is just telling you how to chant, like you know, how to possess. Oh no. Oh, there you go, the uh, Scrab, apparently. I'm just going to call it Scrabs for now, it's easier. Territorial Nightmares on Four Legs. Diet anything that's in their territory, even fleeches keep their distance. Advice, they'll get each other before they get you. And then tells you how to possess them. So we take over this guy, and then we can deal with the fleech. And that's his other attack. If you hold down, he does that. And that's that bit done. Don't forget to close that again after you, otherwise he'll catch up with you and kill you. Uh, we'll grab this. Work our way down. Nope, come on. Don't feed the fleeters, violators violator will be eaten. Okay then. Uh, 
As long as you don't wake the fleet to something up, it, it's pretty simple. Um, this one, however, might get a bit difficult. If memory, sheds, if memory serves me right. Another just tutorial. So yeah, um, it's going to be quite difficult if you don't do it right. These can these guys can't keep up with you and kill you quickly. And you need this guy alive. For that guy. So yeah, once you've done all that, kill the two scrabs, kill the last fleet, you run all the way back to the far screen. And he locks himself in. first. Don't start talking to you now. Uh. And that's that one done. Like, that can become difficult if you don't like kill the first couple of scrabs and if they get you you're gonna have to try and lure another scrab into that room or the first screen and try and possess them that way. It does take a while sometimes so just be careful with it. And again that's what Crooksy has invented for so might as well make most of them. Roll through here. Get to another secret or another secret area. Okay. Wait. Okay. Oh god, didn't <laughs> didn't notice that guy. Right, so let's try that one again. Oh no, fine. Quick save it here. Wait for him. You may have noticed there, but there's. You see, once you start pulling this, you've got the time. Before the fleet just get let off. Once they get let loose, that's game over basically for your friends, so. here just because I messed it up. So yeah, uh, fleeches, as you can see there, they can only get up on basically platforms that have a ledge. Basically, as soon as you they can only get up on platforms that have a ledge and they can't jump. So, if you, if you have that, bear that in mind, you can get through these a couple of areas. Let's see what this is. Opening soon. Scrab around our hunting preserve and boneyard. See, scrabs attack clumsy and employees. Here, slurks pop under feet. Feel the gentle caress of multiple fleet tongues. Okay. Doesn't sound too appealing to be honest, but whatever floats your boat. I guess this down with the Oh no, it's just a little level map. Basically each square represents one screen in each of the levels, so I won't be more, I won't be paying attention to that to be honest that much. That's a good way to remember to work out where secret areas are, if you want to, but you don't have to if you don't, you know, it's not necessary if you use the green bottles as a guidance. Um, I 
go down first actually. This level has two parts to you can either go down here or along to the left. Oh well you have to do both anyway, but One more lick and I think I would die, so I'm gonna quick save it here. Um, this one, don't pull the lever just yet, so work your way down. And there's yet another secret here. fast with jump in one of the pipes and uh, as long as you get him jump in the first one rather than the second if you jump in the second one you can still chant but he's then on the bottom level and it makes it awkward for you to try and work it out so if you do it what I done you can get through easily enough no no yeah this is another timed one if you don't do it fast enough basically that's you stuck so that's what I'm doing Sound glitch there, but no, I may have just messed this up. Yeah, oops, oops, I wasn't fast enough. I'll put that one again. It's a basic idea, but it's pretty hard to try and work out, so... I think this bit actually might be slowing me down a bit, so... Yeah, I think I've messed this up again. I'm pretty sure there's an easy way to do this, but I just don't know it, so... He stopped. Don't stop and champ. Oh yeah, I think the whole point is, if you can get to the other side fast enough... If you time it right so that he's got his back turned to you when you step down, then you will have that extra second for him to turn. So... Oh, he didn't even go for me that time. Hmm. Hmm. No. God damn it. I keep pulling the lever as soon as I jump up there. I keep forgetting I just don't put it yet. Side. I'm going to quick save the game. And then you do that with them too. That one, if you go all the way down to the bottom and then tell them to follow, if you say then hi and follow you, they won't do it. Or they won't get out of there fast enough. So. 
And also, if you bring the first these first two down, and then say hi and follow you, by the time it goes through all four of them, again they won't set off fast enough, and then they'll all die. Or well, the two will die. So that's that area done. And we're back up here. And I'm not gonna mess this up again. Let them come at me, and then we're done. First time I ever played this game, I didn't realize that there was a ledge uh, pipe there, so I was running my way back up. But that's that one done. To me, that's one of the hardest levels in the scrap section, just because it's always I don't know, it's always annoyed me. So it's good to get that one out of the way as soon as possible. And since I'm here, I might as well work on the back ones. The basic idea in this one is to get this guy down from up here, so if we do this, then we're on. He's gonna catch me. I had to make sure which side of the pipe you came out of, so uh, after you go into the pipe you come out on the right hand side. So, I'll wait for him to go to the left hand side. A bit more, a bit more, no. Or, maybe not. Does he ever leave? No, he can't leave the screen. Hmm. All the way over. Oh no, we can go. And back up again. earlier on when they said they will attack each other before you. You can stand there all you want, it's not going to do any damage to you. And then that's up done. There's actually two parts to this level, as you can see here. Just checking. Yes. Is he going to run through? Come on, you. Where did you go? There you go. Don't wait for him to leave. Then we'll leave. No, oh, Jesus Christ. Almost made that one just ruined for me, but I got there. <laughs> just. That's something else you have to be careful of in this part. He will sometimes, uh, just before he leaves the screen, he'll chant, and then, or he'll do that little screech thing. If he does that, then that means you're, well, you usually jump down at that point thing, he's about to leave the screen, but then he turns around and kills you, so. Something you have to be careful of. No, I can't. Okay, good thing a quick save. I wasn't sure whether you could make that jump or not. Yeah, go on. Leave the screen. And we're done. Levels done. No, not quite. There's another part of this level. I thought this was a separate one. Right. Uh, 
Oh. Forgetting which button to hold on to and which one to let go off. Sometimes you have to use yourself as bait just to get them into the screen. I want to make sure he leaves the screen first. Type and done. And it took me far fewer attempts than it usually does, but I'm not complaining. I should be able to get another level or two in before I'm finished. I think that was the longest of the lot, so just because there's three different parts to it. Uh, well, this one has a secret in it, so it might be a little longer. <laughs> I'm not going up here just yet. this one, but I think because I've woken them up it might be a bit awkward. Oh crap. get to this part. There we go. Right in front of the bleach. 
Um, Made it through there. Messed up there not by hitting that thing first time. Um, well, it's been about 25 minutes, so I'm going to leave it here and I'll finish off the last three levels in the next episode. So, do you see if override? Yes. And there we go. So that's it for part four. Just the same as usual. Like the video if you've liked it so far, and I'll see you in the next next one.